Hello everyone, hello everybody, this is Fallen Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8. And this is a bit more Guild Wars, we got a new update, you guys. A new episode, to be sure. This is the Head of the Snake. And the new area is called Lake Doric. Now, it is actually just east of Divinity's Reach, which is the cool thing. Which means we have a little more in-between areas, just sort of filling in the map. Now, I know there's been a lot of areas I've always kind of wanted to see a little more filled in and such. And this area particularly, I know I've always wanted to be able to go to and see what this wizard is like. But I guess that's not for now. <laughs> But we do have this new interesting map and a lot going on at it. There are events all over the place, just like the previous few maps. <laughs> so if you have nothing to do, it's because you aren't going there. <laughs> now I personally have map completion basically done, so... There's not a whole lot more for me to work towards besides achievements at the moment. And boy, is there a lot of achievements I still need to get to. Let's actually take a gander at that. Let's see. Um, story journal. The Head of the Snake. I have 18 out of the 20... And one I'm going to need for some kind of mask. Don't know what that's going to look like yet. I Actually, I might know, but I don't know at the same time. Now, I do know I want this. Let's see. I didn't read the description, though. Bloodstone dust and imperial fragments to the Sentinel Hmm. Cool beans. It's an achievement for putting out lots of fires. I can do that. That's also an easy one because there's basically a quest that requires you to do that. Now this one's going to take a bit of hunting. I would be looking at um, Dolphy's uh, website for figuring out some of these, but it just doesn't have the achievement guide stuff up yet. Can I eat this yet? Yes. Oh, that was in the list. I didn't know that. Nice Clearly, I'm paying attention very thoroughly. <laughs> oh, that it gave me this? That's interesting. Yeah, this place gives me a lot of junk. A lot of literal junk. Look at this. Pile of vile essence. Literal junk. You know what? I'm probably going to need that literal junk. Now this is so far the one of the two most questionable things I've seen here. For starters, there's this mask. I don't know if I actually want to use this skin ever. don't know. <laughs> and the other thing, um, in the later story instance, there's a cat i seen. A cat. Quote, unquote, cat. I say quote, unquote, quote, because it's a very curious looking cat, if I do say so myself. Like, I had to be double-checkingly sure if it was a cat. There's jade cannons to destroy. And more. White mantle literally everywhere. And for some reason approaching these things knocks you back. Now I don't know if there's a way to do that where it makes use of that, but I kind of doubt it.
I have noticed that using Greatsword has been doing me wonders on this map. So here's where the map's currency comes from in a more natural sense. The Jade Shards. You can never have too much treasure. I want to say they're a little more scarce than other maps currency resources, but I don't think it's really much of a biggie because sometimes you get double or more of them a little more frequently. So it's not exactly a huge problem or something. Also these things are bad. They are big and mean. Let's fight one. Why'd I go that way? He wants to smack me, but I won't let him. I'm going to burn him. Wait, here he died? Interesting. I noticed there is like a little cave or something around here, but I don't know how to get inside of it. Yeah, right there, with the bars. That looks valuable. Yeah, I don't know how to get inside of that. I'm sure there's a way, I just don't know where it is. Perhaps there's an event of sorts. Yeah, and it's gonna take some time to figure out. Now, here's an event going on. Uh-oh. He wants me. He wants the skin off my bones! Uh oh. Let me dodge things. It hurts. Oh. Special. Ow. Ow. I don't think I'm gonna get this done. I'm the only person seemingly here. Another person! Gasp! Perhaps hope exists. Ow. Ow. Yeah, he was just gonna kill the Watch Knight. Wait, another person yet. If people keep pouring in, I'll be able to make this happen. As you can see, it's quite a lot of madness. Okay, so when he does the little swing forward thing, I have to just move to the side. Alright. 
I think I'm getting the techniques down on this. We can kill this guy. We can bring him back down to Earth. I think I just got spared by a tree. Oh. Ow. Ow, my lung. I like how I'm just attacking him with a torch. I mean, what am I gonna do to a rock? <laughs> oh, what's this side? He's almost dead. so much. I can't even see what it's going on. That went quite well. S something else I guess it's worth mentioning. I got two new gliders. The white mantle glider, which I basically dyed pink just to match my outfit. Let me just remind this a sec, just because I'm already here. I have one other glider. Oh, I didn't mean to go into achievements. Glider skins. And Heart of Thorns glider. It's a little bit flashier than what I'm used to, but... That is pretty cool. Let's actually get a little bit up higher to appreciate it a little more. Pretty cool. Also, when enemies um, are a bit see-through and have like a red outline, that usually means that they're invisible. Like this enemy can become Like that. It's like a black see through sort of thing that they temporarily get. And I basically have a mastery that allows me to see them. Another one. yet. Let's see if I can coax him. Now he is. And my traps basically set him off. Yes. Why is everyone and their grandma standing on all this junk. Look at all that engineering. So the wind's supposed to make this rotate, which is supposed to make the saw go up and down. And then, the logs come down through here, get sliced in half, and end up right here, where I stand. I'm basically standing in tree cuts. Oh my god. Stop your terrible puns. Just stop I'm so it. Sentimental about this place. A sap, you might say. Stop it. Stop it. No. Bad. Stop with the tree puns. Stop it. Stop it. So it's a serif serif protector. It looks like someone just like took out the armor from a soldier and just decided to use it as a shield. It almost looks like a, um, a steel hood or something. 
Huh. Well, this is sketchy as hell. An invisible archer here. And a letter. And it's basically saying Conicus is going to be dying soon. And they have to keep an eye out on Logan, Thackeray here. That's interesting. A little weird, but interesting. I found a sewer child. It's just bar they're just barely noticeable. Awesome, I got the ghostly cat. He's so spooky and adorable. It's okay, kitty. I fed him also. I had to feed him like um like ghost food. A ghost omnon berry. Or I'm not a berry ghost thing. Alternatively, there's the strawberry ghosts. But yeah, these can make the player actually turn into a ghost. Like, ghost the player. And then I was able to interact with this little guy here at night. In the new place. Or where... The other new cat goes. Then over here we have a bunch of cats brawling. Look at these guys, they're just going to town on each other. Knock down, knock back. Casting of fear. Days. They're having an hour little brawl right here. It's adorable and awesome at the same time. <laughs> I'm actually shocked this was here. <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, I have a lot of cats, and now they have to share a space together, but... Really, look at all this space. Why do you guys have to fight? I was hoping to find... I don't know... A bloodstone kitty thing somewhere. <laughs> but maybe this is a result of it. Maybe it became a normal cat after I fed it. A little snow leopard cub. Hmm. So I guess that's a bit of whatever. But anyway, everybody. That's all I have time for for today. So this has been on the Head of the Snake episode update of the third season of The Living World. I'm 41 Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8, and have a good day. Bye-bye.